Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this Azure Fundamentals examination course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about planning and managing cost within Azure subscription. There are three main customer types, enterprise, web direct and cloud solution providers. Enterprise customers sign an enterprise agreement with Azure that commits them to spending a negotiated amount on Azure services, which they typically pay annually. Enterprise customers also have access to customized Azure pricing. WebDirect, a WebDirect customers pay public prices for Azure services and their monthly billing and payments occur through Azure website. A cloud solution provider or CSP typically are Microsoft partner companies that a customer hires to build solution on top of Azure. The payment and billing for Azure usage occurs through the customer's CSP. There are three primary factors which can affect Azure cost. Resource type, services, and location. In resource type, Cost are resource specific. So the usage that a meter tracks and the number of meters associated with a resource depend on a resource type. In services, Azure usage rates and billing periods can differ between enterprise, web direct, and cloud solution provide customers. Some subscription types also include usage allowances, which affect cost. And finally, location. The Azure infrastructure is globally distributed. The Azure infrastructure is globally distributed. And usage cost might vary between locations that offer Azure products, services, and resources. All right, so let's understand the billing purpose or the billing zones. So bandwidth refers to data moving in and out of Azure data centers. Some inbound data transfers, such as data going into Azure data center are free. For outbound data transfers, such as data going out of Azure data centers, data transferring price is based on zones. A zone is a geographical grouping of Azure regions for billing purposes. You can see that in zone one, there is West US, East US, Canada West, West Europe, France Central, and others. In zone two, we have Australia Central, Japan West, Central India, Korea South, and others. In zone three, there is only Brazil South. And there is DE zone one, that include Germany Central and Germany Northeast. To avoid confusion, be aware that the zone for billing purposes is not the same as availability zone. In Azure, the term zone is for billing purpose only. Let's explore Azure Pricing Calculator. I have a detailed walkthrough video which is coming right after this video. We will go through a walkthrough on Azure Pricing Calculator. We will go through a walkthrough on Azure TCO calculator and then a walkthrough on Azure cost management as well. So before that, let's find out what is Azure pricing calculator. The pricing calculator is a tool that helps you estimate the cost of Azure products. It displays Azure products in categories, and you can choose these Azure products you need and configure them according to a specific requirement. Azure then provides a detailed estimate of the cost associated with your selections and configurations. The option that you can configure in the pricing calculator vary between products, but basic configuration options include a region, a tier, billing options, support options, and program offers. The total cost of ownership calculator is a tool that you can estimate 
cost savings you can realize by migrating to Azure. To use TCO Calculator, complete the three steps like define your workload, adjust assumptions, and view reports. And the TCO Calculator generates a detailed report based on the details you enter and the adjustments you make. The report allows you to compare the cost of your on-premises infrastructure with the cost using Azure products and services to host your infrastructure in the cloud. And finally, Azure Cost Management. Azure Cost Management is an Azure product that provides a set of tools for monitoring, allocating, and optimizing your Azure cost. Some of the main features of Azure Cost Management include reporting. Generate reports using historical data to forecast future usage and expenditure. Data enrichment. Improve accountability by categorizing resources with tags that correspond to real world business and organizational unit. Create and manage cost and use budgets by monitoring resources demand trends, consumption rates, and cost patterns. Get alerts based on your cost and usage budgets and receive recommendations to eliminate idle resources and to optimize these Azure resources you provision. And if you're wondering how much does it cost to use the Azure cost management, this service is absolutely free for all Azure customers. Now that we have learned about different factors which can affect the Azure cost, let's go and have a walkthrough about Azure Pricing Calculator. So we'll see you on that walkthrough. Till then, take care.